<laughs> Hello goddesses. Today is Sunday. It is the 13th. The power finally came back on today. We are going to head home. I'm about to pack up and get out of here to go see what is the damage of the house. Hopefully there's no damage. Um, my mom looked at the camera. Um, the only thing that it looked like the mat flipped over. So anyway, I'm gonna pack up. We gonna head on home because girl, I'm so ready to like wash my hair because it is so dirty right now. It is so flaky. And I just like, I just wanna go home. I just wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. Oh, 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 oh. We need to go home. <laughs> so anyway, I'm about to pack up and I will see y'all when we get back to the house. I see already on the like map that there is some flooding so as i drive i'm gonna try and get footage to see what it looks like because i know in 1000 feet turn it's gonna to be bad i know that there is gonna be a lot of damage going back so yeah this is gonna be interesting Okay, so I just got home. Ah! Oh my God. But seatbelt hit my nipple. Oh, and it's the one with the nipple piercing that hurts so bad. So it just seems like a lot of damage of like trees and stuff. But I'm about to, I'm about to go inside. So this is my room. Did this get all wet? Let's see. Yep, that got soaking wet. Okay. Some water did come in there. That's good that I put those towels there. Okay. Yeah, and then the bugs was like in there. The back, they were here. So as soon as I opened up the refrigerator, they went in, so I got it. Ew. All Nothing. Nothing. You know, nothing. Cause I was worried that we would go. No. That, honey, you know that's what he was worried about. It's like, stinky so. a little. It's well, a little. It, I think that's what stinks. The freezer. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, so that, that's, that's, that's disgusting. <laughs> well, I mean that little hint that I smelt in that freezer is mm. nothing. Cause what? That. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good though. What's that? Oh, is that a sock? Oh, it's just a sock. Oh, I'm just happy I can wash my hair. That's what I, Cause I haven't even bought my suitcase in or anything. I just want to, yeah. I just wanted to come and see the house first before I brought anything in. Okay. Here we got his seat outside. Please move back here. Oh, I don't know. The only thing they have back here are these wicker things oh, fell, but that's it. But. Okay. Tree right there fell. Okay. On the, on the highway, did you happen to see? I still have no damage, thankfully. There was just like kind of a lot of trees and debris that was around as we were coming home. I mean, I saw a truck that was flipped over. I'm not gonna lie, when I was driving, I don't know if y'all saw like my eyes were kind of like watery a little teary-eyed it really wasn't because of the damage 
it was because of what I was, I, the music that I was listening to was like really touching me. But also I think the anxiety and just kind of like not knowing the unknown, I guess that was kind of like a little bit of an effect to why I was like teary eyed and stuff when I was driving. But other than that, the house is so okay. So we're just gonna take off the tape off the windows. I just have to sit here and say thank you guys for checking in on me because I know a couple people were reaching out to me through messages and everything and I really really love you guys and I thank you for the support and I just want to sit here and really say this even though we are okay there is people out here that have had significant damage and just because I'm blessed and I'm okay that does not mean other people out there are blessed and okay just give them prayers because I can't imagine coming home and losing everything and there are people out there that are currently going through that but they come home and they have absolutely nothing they have no home to come to and I think that's why when I was driving it was getting a little emotional because I knew our house was going to be okay but at the same time that is not everyone's reality and I think the biggest thing is I do not want to be insensitive for people out there that do not have some something to come home to and I want to sit here and recognize that I am very self-aware of that and at the same time you know if there are people out there I really do give them blessings I do give them prayers that they will make it through and it's okay to cry it's okay to validate your anger as well I think this is the biggest part that I've realized through my experience in life when it comes to like healing and just like going through your emotions being angry is a part of healing and i want to really address that i know that there are people out there that aren't even in a situation like this or can't really understand losing everything and that is something that i can sit here and say this is my second storm that was really serious i've been through sandy and even through sandy we lost trees in our backyard and that was it we just didn't have power for like a week a week and a half and with that still i realized having power and how our daily lives we're so affected by something of just not having power share this reminder that people are going through a different grievance now i know that there are people that think of grievance just only in the sense of people of losing a family member or a friend going through a grievance of losing everything like your house or whatever have you your car that is a grievance and being angry is valid and i just want to sit here and say that for anyone that is going through this experience i just want to sit here and validate you in the sense of going through that grievance and being angry and being mad is very valid and don't listen to anyone if they're like you should be grateful for this no it's okay to not be grateful it's okay to be upset it's okay to allow yourself to be angry if you lost something significant there are going to be people that are going to protect as well as they come from privilege personally being someone that has gone through grievance in the sense of losing my father, losing my grandmother, I think people kind of are ignorant to people's like feelings and emotion and it's like everything's gonna be okay. Yes, but it's not right now. And I just want to sit there and say that. With that being said, thank you goddesses for tuning in. I love you guys and I will check y'all in the next video. Mwah. Bye.